Here are 25 free-to-play Steam games with the overwhelmingly positive Steam rating. First up, we have Grimhook, a first-person action-adventure game where you play as the character named Dart who has special powers and his trusty grappling hook. The gameplay involves bouncing, dashing, and grappling through flooded caverns while battling robotic enemies. You'll descend into sunken ruins and unravel its mysteries. The game offers a blend of action and exploration within a submerged atmospheric environment. The game doesn't take too long to complete, but it's some really quick fun that will leave you wishing there was more. And Speaking of quick fun, that brings us to the next game, Neon Beats, a 2D platformer game that integrates rhythm-based gameplay, offering a unique blend of music and platforming challenges. The levels in Neon Beats are designed around the rhythm of the background music, providing a synchronized gaming experience where the music influences the gameplay. You control a cube that moves along a white line, navigating through various obstacles and challenges. Next up is Sheepy, a short adventure. In this pixel art platformer game, you'll take on the role of Sheepy, an abandoned plush toy that mysteriously comes to life in a pile of discarded rubbish. The game sets you on a journey through a forgotten and broken world filled with exploration, platforming challenges, and a light narrative that unfolds as you progress. The game is designed to be a concise experience lasting at most three hours, but it's packed with inventive level design and constantly introduces new skills for you to master. Next up is Alpaca Staka, a charming 3D adventure platformer game that invites you into a vibrant and engaging world through the eyes of Paz, a kind-hearted alpaca. In Alpaca Staka, you'll embark on a journey with Paz, whose mission is to assist their animal friends across an island. This premise sets the stage for a series of exploration and platforming challenges where the gameplay focuses on navigating through various terrains, solving puzzles, and collecting items or lost animals to progress. Up next is Outpath First Journey. In this game, you are tasked with gathering resources, crafting items, building and automating your base, and expanding your territory by buying more islands. The game encourages exploration and progression at your own pace without time limits or pressure. The game introduces a variety of activities including fishing, parkour movements, and the automation of resource collection and item crafting. The game draws inspiration from titles like Satisfactory, Minecraft, Forager, and incorporates elements from clicker slash idle games, creating a unique blend of gameplay. Up next is Life is Strange Episode 1, an adventure game where you play as Max Caulfield, an 18-year-old photography student who discovers she has the ability to rewind time, which explores the consequences of Max's actions and decisions as she navigates through the challenges of her life and attempts to uncover the mysteries surrounding the town of Arcadia Bay and the disappearance of her old friend, Rachel Lambert. With Max's ability, you'll be able to rewind time to change your decisions, leading to different outcomes and affecting the story direction. Next on the list is Arrow a Row, a casual endless auto runner game where your character automatically shoots arrows forward while moving left and right to avoid enemies and collect power-ups. The game involves shooting arrows in a row, potentially across multiple rows, and choosing power-ups to defeat bosses. That's pretty much it, it's just one of those quick dumb fun games. Next is Cube Escape Paradox, a point and click adventure game. The game follows Detective Dale Vandermeer who wakes up in an ominous room with no memory of his past. He finds himself trapped in a bizarre game orchestrated by an old foe and must solve increasingly challenging puzzles to escape the room and recover his memories. The game is notable for its unique crossover with a short film which is used to enhance the storytelling and provide clues for the game's puzzles. Next up is Psychopomp, a psychological horror dungeon crawler game that dwells into a world where not everything is as it seems. The game is set in a reality where catacombs stretch for miles beneath every home and building, intriguing you to explore their depths. This exploration is driven by a mysterious call, leading you deeper into a labyrinth filled with unknown horrors. The game is described as a short experience, emphasizing psychological horror elements that distort your perception of the world. Next on the list is Farmer Against Potatoes Idol, an idol game where you'll engage in a whimsical battle against potatoes, using the corpses and skulls of their defeated foes to purchase upgrades and strengthen your farmer character. The game features a progression system where you can reincarnate to reach higher areas and ultimately become the ultimate farmer. It encourages various game mechanics such as equipment, classes, and a talent tree. Next, we have Disfigure, a top-down shooter roguelike game where you'll battle against countless creatures shrouded in darkness. 
You can choose from a variety of weapons and have access to over 100 upgrades to create unique builds for each run, aiming to survive the onslaught of enemies. That's pretty much it with this one, it's just a simple top-down shooter. Next up is Bobdi, a single-player experience that combines elements of exploration, platforming, and a light narrative within an open-world setting. In Bobdi, you'll find yourself in a city filled with brutalist architecture, and the primary objective is to escape this city. The gameplay involves platforming across the city Escape, interacting with residents, and collecting various items that can aid in your exploration. The unique looking characters you can interact with can lead to smaller objectives or quests, adding depth to the exploration. Up next is Perspective, an experimental puzzle game that presents a unique mechanic where you control an avatar in a 2D space that can be manipulated by changing the perspective into a 3D space. This perspective shifting mechanic is central to solving puzzles and progressing through the game. The objective is to navigate the avatar to a goal by switching between 2D and 3D modes. In 2D mode, the avatar can move and interact with the environment, while in 3D mode, you can change the camera angle, but the avatar is fixed in place. The game challenges you to think creatively and is a very unique experience. Next is Landfall Archives, a compilation game that is made up of a collection of 23 previously unreleased game prototypes, demos, interactive slideshows, and even an old version of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator from 2017. The premise of the game is that you break into the Landfall Archives to access and play these unreleased materials. The collection includes a variety of game types, such as peaceful flying simulations, online PvP, games, building games, and more, each with unique gameplay mechanics and objectives. Next is Resonance of the Ocean, a short adventure puzzle game set on a desolate island featuring worn down houses and an old lighthouse and no other people are around the island. You'll engage in a soothing musical puzzle experience where you must collect items, wash the shore, and create musical instruments. These instruments are then used to respond to mysterious sounds emanating from across the ocean. The gameplay emphasizes exploration and creativity as you'll find and combine different items to mimic the mysterious noises. The game can be completed in around 30 minutes, but is praised for making excellent use of its short playtime. Up next is Oh My God, Look at This Night, an action-adventure game with a comedic and medieval fantasy theme. It features a brave knight tasked with helping villagers solve their problems, requiring you to grab your shiny helmet and trusty sword to gather valor and honor. The game has five unique missions and a story filled with lots of secrets to uncover. The gameplay involves completing various tasks such as smashing cabbages, destroying scarecrows, and battling evil demons in your quest for justice. Next up is Lily's Well, an adventure horror game that combines retro graphics with a compelling story and plenty of spooky moments. The narrative unfolds on a rainy night in the spring of 2005, when a young girl named Lily is left home alone. She is awakened by a cry for help coming from outside her window, originating from a well. Determined to help, Lily embarks on a quest to gather items around her house that could be used as rope to rescue the person trapped in the well. But this isn't just a simple rescue mission, it dwells into dark and complex themes, leaving you to unravel the mysteries of this well. Up next is Gun Devil, a side-scrolling shooting platformer game. The game features a unique looking main character who embarks on a quest to save his demon wife from the Prince of Hell. The gameplay of Gun Devil is described as hectic and fast paced. You'll be navigating through distinct looking levels filled with a wide variety of strange enemies. The game's design and mechanics are tailored to provide an explosive platforming experience. Next up is Pineapple on Pizza, a unique and short indie game. The game is described as a walking simulator and exploration game with a comedic and experimental twist. You'll find yourself on a small tropical island inhabited by dancing people. The core gameplay involves exploring this vibrant island, interacting with its inhabitants, and ultimately finding a way to ruin their party in an unexpected and enjoyable manner. Up next is Juice Galaxy, a surrealistic action-adventure game with a unique physics-based combat system. The game is described as an immersive fever dream of an RPG. It features a happy, weird world where you can fly around, smack things, drink juice, and explore various environments. That's pretty much it. It's just a game to mess around on and enjoy the weird experience. Next is Meteor 60 Seconds, a comedic simulation game that presents a unique and humorous take on the end of the world scenario. A meteor is headed towards Earth and you have only 60 seconds left to live. The game challenges you to decide how you would spend your 
your final minute. With its simple controls and cartoonish graphics, the game offers a variety of outcomes based on your choices, ranging from absurd and funny to surprisingly touching. After each round, you are presented with a news report that humorously just summarizes your actions and the impact you had. Next up is There Is No Game, a unique point-and-click comedy adventure game that presents itself as a non-game. The game's central premise is that it is not a game, and it humorously insists that you should not attempt to play it. Despite this, you are drawn into a series of puzzles and challenges that you must solve to progress. The game features a sentient AI which acts as a narrator and tries to dissuade you from continuing playing the game. Up next is Blood Spear, an action adventure game where you take on the role of a demonic spear with the ability to possess a knight from a distant kingdom. The gameplay is centered around ranged combat, with the spear being the primary weapon used to impale and kill enemies from afar. Blood Spear is described as a Souls-like game and you can expect to engage in combat that requires you to defeat powerful foes and absorb their life blood to progress. Next up is The Supper, a short adventure game that dwells into the darkest aspects of the human soul. The game's narrative centers around Mrs. Appleton, who is portrayed as a figure of kindness until she starts hearing a mysterious voice. This voice catalyzes a transformation in Miss Appleton, leading her down a path that explores the sinister and unearthly elements of her character. And finally, we have I Wanna Maker, a precision platformer game that features a robust level editor and online level sharing capabilities. The game allows you to create complex levels using a wide variety of objects, a powerful event system, and customizable visuals. You can browse levels online, engage in a handcrafted campaign, participate in challenge modes, and more. One of the key highlights of I Wanna Maker is its community aspect, where you can share your creations and compete in speedrun leaderboards for each level with watchable replays available to learn from the best runs. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.